Hey everyone, Ago with Anchor9GG here. Wanted to share with you guys some interesting findings with the Season 2 Mangler. Uh, this is an, a version of training mode that I've modified to reflect the upcoming 10% damage nerf to all melee weapons. This is not hypothetical, these are just fun ideas. This is actual practical knowledge that you can apply next season. Um, so if you haven't seen what the Mangler does, and I wouldn't blame you, I don't exactly have a lot of, a lot of clout in Halo. That is what it's going to look like if you try the old 1-2 punch. It's, it's, they're going to be pretty close to dead, but not quite. Um, I'm going to jump into some numbers here, so if you don't like those, bear with me. If you do, I've got a data sheet that I'll link uh, below so you can kind of review these as well. Players have a shield value of 140 shields. They have a health value of 90. Overall, their vitality pool, if you want to call it that, is 230. You have to clear that number to kill a player. Um, of course, there are precision weapons and other factors as well, that, but we're not going to talk about that for now. Now, typically, when you are dealing damage, you will not clear past shields and go into dealing health damage with the same damage calculation. So typically, if you shoot a guy, you're not going to do shields and health. You're probably you're going to do shields and then health on the next shot. However, melee doesn't follow this rule. Melee has something called damage bleed through. That's why it goes through and it kills people like it does. So the Mangler deals 71 damage per shot. So that is 71 damage. Doesn't matter if it hits the head, body, whatever. 71 flat damage. Now, if I go up and if I melee this guy, I'm dealing about 157, 156. Technically, the calculation has a decimal in there, but we're not going to... one. 156.6 if you care. I, I I personally don't. I'm just going to say 157. So you've got 71 plus 157 damage dealt. That's just shy of 230. So a way that you can fix that, and of course it's obvious, is a grenade, right? He moved into it, but he's dead. Even if you barely clip somebody with the grenade, let's see, I'm typically really good at being on... I don't think I hit either one of these guys. Don't hit him. So if you barely clip somebody with a grenade, you're going to deal enough damage to where you can two-piece them with the Mangler. Uh, to kind of further demonstrate this, I took this sidekick here, and I've modified it, I've modified it to do exactly three damage. Um, just to show you... Right? It's not... It's barely touching them, right? So, right here... Dead. Any amount of damage is going to do enough to open them up to be vulnerable to the Mangler. It's still a very powerful weapon, definitely something you need to be on the lookout for. It's just not as easy as it was prior. Um, of course, if you miss the two-piece melee, boy howdy, do I have some good news for you. Um, I would recommend grabbing, grabbing either the Hydra or the Heat Wave, whichever, you know, is available. And you can just pop people all day long. Like, this is still fine. That hasn't changed. Um, for reference, uh, base level melee in Season 2 is going to be 138.6. Probably is going to be like 139, 138, who knows. Who knows, maybe they even just round it up to 140 and... I don't know. I, I We won't know until Season 2 comes out. Either way, you have plenty of options if you miss the old two-piece melee, but if you want to use the Manger specifically because it's so available, you have options. Yes, you are going to have to adjust your gameplay, and yes, it's not going to be quite as strong as it was, but that doesn't mean there aren't different options out there. Uh, anyway, uh, again, my name is Agoat, I'm with Anchor9GG, and I really appreciate your time and your attention. If you have any questions about anything that I've talked about, please just send me a message, reply to this. Whatever works for you, I just want to be a resource. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a great day.